Hello everybody, my name is Jenna and today is day 8 of Bookmas. Today's topic is the top 8 books you want to read in 2017. Now, I've taken a bit of liberty with this topic as I have done with every topic in the past and I've kind of gone with some series for this one so you'll see me holding up a couple of books. I currently have like the biggest stack of books next to me. I'm actually afraid it's going to topple over so we're hopefully going to get through this video really really quickly. When it came to these books I tried to pick books that I already own because basically I have a bunch of books on my shelf that I have owned for at least six months or longer and I haven't read them yet and that's like awful because I keep buying new books and then I will read those books before I read these ones so that's so and why I've chosen these books. A lot of them are series that I just, I want to finish. Like a lot of them are actually series that I bought the full series of and just haven't read yet. And that is just like the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Who does that? Me, I do that. So basically those are mainly the books that I have picked. So we're just gonna get started so I can hopefully stop this from toppling over, which I'm sure it's gonna do at some point. As always, I'm gonna be counting down to my number one pick. So number eight on my list is a series and that is the Fairy Walker Trilogy by Jenna Black. This includes Glimmer Glass, Shadow Spell and Siren Song. So not gonna lie, one of the big reasons why I bought this book is because the author's name is Jenna. I'm actually being like deadly serious here, but also because the front cover looked amazing. And when I bought these books, I was in a super like fairy kick because I thought that fairy books were like the best things ever. You know, you couldn't do any better than that. I have grown up a bit since then. So that's one of the reasons why I just haven't gotten around to picking these ones up. But they've been sitting on my shelf for the longest time and I'm getting annoyed that they're still there. So next year, I definitely want to dive into these ones and finally read them and figure out why exactly I bought them. I'm not even entirely sure what they're about. All I know is that they're about a girl who is human but is a fairy walker and so can go to Avalon. That's as far as I got so we'll see what happens when I finally pick these ones up next year. Coming in at number seven on my list is yet another series and that is the Books of Beginning series by John Stevens. This trilogy includes The Emerald Atlas, The Fire Chronicle and The Black Reckoning. Okay, can we just take a second here to look at how ridiculous this is? I mean, why? Why change the last book to be so much smaller than the first two? Look at this. Look at this. This is ridiculous and it really bugs me on my shelf. So basically, this is a middle grade series. I have read the first book. I remember really enjoying the first book and then I decided not to read the second one until I had the third one. I do that sometimes. I'll like read the first book in the series and then I won't read anymore until I have all of them. But by the time I have all of them, I'll be over it. So I've done that a couple of times and I'm kind of regretting that now because this series has been sitting on my shelf for the longest time and I I just, I really enjoyed the first book and I reckon I'll enjoy the rest of it. So I really just, I want to get it done. Coming in at number six on my list is A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. Basically, I loved the cover. I thought it looked beautiful. And the fact that it, London is on the cover, it put London on anything and I'll probably enjoy it. I say probably because I'm still currently reading The Infernal Devices and not enjoying it. And that's actually set in London. So that's saying something. Basically, I know hardly anything about this book. All that I know about it is that all three books are now out in this trilogy and I still haven't even read the first one and it's been sitting on my shelf for the longest time. So this is another one that I'd really like to get to in the new year. Coming in at number five on my list is Zoo by James Patterson and Michael Ledwidge. Now I am obsessed with the television show Zoo. I think it is an incredible series. I love it so much. I got my friend hooked on it. I got Lynette hooked on it and everyone should go and watch the show. That's just like my plug for that show. You just go and watch it. You will not be disappointed. I promise. Just if you do, the second season is a little odd, but it's still really good and it's still worth the watch. So ever since I found out that the series was based on a book, well, I mean, I kind of always knew that it was based on a book, but I bought the book and I really wanted to read it and I haven't done it yet. I was meant to read it before season two started. That didn't happen. And I've finished season two for like two, I finished it like two months ago. So now I'm determined to read it before season three starts. I think season three will start sometime in June, but I tend to not watch it until all the episodes are out. So that's sometime in September. So I have until then to read this book and I am determined to read this book. Coming in at number four on my list is First Life by Gina Showalter. I really want to read this one before the sequel comes out. I think the sequel is called Afterlife, I believe. I'm really not sure, but maybe it'll say here. Hold on. Does it say? I don't want to spoil it. I'm always like afraid to look at the back of the book in case there's nothing. No. Okay. But I, I'm going to spoil something if I keep doing that. So basically, I don't really know a lot about this book. I bought it back in March because I thought the cover looked absolutely incredible. And then when I read that it was sort of about like first year die and then you go to real life or something. I found that really interesting so I'm really looking forward to reading this book. Not really sure why I haven't gotten to it. Again I think it's a case of I was rereading the Harry Potter series this year for the Harry Potter readathon so that took up a lot of my time. University reads took up a hell of a lot of my time and I was also just sort of getting back into reading regularly and finally starting a booktube channel which I didn't know was a thing until this year so doing all of that sort of meant that a lot of these books sort of got pushed to the side but I am determined to get through this one next year preferably 
probably before the sequel comes out because I do think I will really enjoy it. And then coming in at number three on my list is Hollow City and Library of Souls by Ransom Riggs. I read the first book in this series which is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children this year right before I saw the film so I really enjoyed that. And then I think the only reason I read the first one was so I could go see the film. I wasn't really too interested in reading the other two but I will read them eventually and I am hoping to get to them next year because I don't really want it to be like too long after having read the first one because then knowing me I won't remember a thing about what I read so I'll have to reread the first book and I'm trying to avoid doing that because I just think it'll be not a waste of time. I do love rereading books. I really do. I think if you find a book that you love, reread it as many times as you can but at the same time I do like to read new books and I have so many books that I want to read next year. So I'm hoping to read these sometime early next year. Hopefully like around January, February. That's when I'm hoping to read these ones. Coming in at number two on my list is actually three books all part of the same series. This series is actually ending next year and for one I would like to be a part of the hype of the end of the series because I've missed out on the hype for literally every single book beforehand and that is of course the rest of the Throne of Glass series starting with Air of Fire, continuing on with Queen of Shadows and kind of ending with Empire of Storms because you know the sixth book we don't know what that's called yet. I feel like it's gonna be good. These are massive books though I mean they're all at least I think 500 pages long probably longer which is just they're so big and that's kind of got me a bit hesitant to read them but like I said I really do want to read them before the sixth book comes out especially because I think once that happens then I'm done with the series and I don't have to keep reading them especially since I really started reading Air of Fire and wasn't the biggest fan of it so I'm a little hesitant to continue on with this series but I am determined to and I know a lot of my friends are going to be pushing me to read it as well so I really struggled to find my number one pick for this topic simply because there are so many books that I really want to read next year but eventually I came to the conclusion that the number one book that I want to get to in 2017 is Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. The reason I want to get to Lady Midnight is because that will mean that I have finally finished The Infernal Devices, I have reread The Mortal Instruments and I have read the two companion novels which are Bane Chronicles and Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy. <sighs> I found out this year that my Shadowhunter game is seriously lacking and that upsets me greatly so by setting myself the goal basically I want to be reading Lady Midnight before Lord of Shadows comes out. I don't know when it's coming out. I think May? April, May, I think. Which doesn't actually leave me with a hell of a lot of time, especially because I know that I'm going back to university in February and when I go back to uni I'm going to have lots of uni books that I need to read and lots of uni work that I need to do so I won't have as much time to read, which kind of sucks, but I am determined to, yeah, sorry I just got a bit distracted. I haven't even really read the blurb of this one yet because I don't remember anything that happened in Mortal Instruments. I remember bits and pieces. I remember little bits that happened at the end of City of Glass. I remember Malik breaking up and like crying about that. I remember some people died. I remember a sword and an angel and that's pretty much it. And so because of that I figured that I really need to get back into this series. I really love it so that's why I want to be reading Lady Midnight next year. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comment section below what books you are hoping to get to in 2017 and let me know also if you have read any of these ones and let me know is it worth it do I like really push myself to read them or can I afford to wait and maybe even push them back to 2018 if you like this video be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing stay random bye